Hello, everyone. This is Deborah Jason speaking to you today on the Schweiki Media Weekly Expert Webinar Series. As creative entrepreneurs and business owners, one of the most important tools you have in offering your programs and services is the copy you use to communicate your message. So today, we're going to talk about how you can best communicate your passions to reach out and get results. You see, there is really only one magic bullet for communicating your passion, attracting a steady stream of loyal raving fans, and making a difference in their lives. That bullet is the copy, or the words that you use to communicate your message. After all, you can't have marketing materials, whether it's a direct mail letter or a web sales page, without the words, can you? Mark Twain once wrote, the difference between the right word and almost the right word is the difference between lightning and lightning bug. And little has changed since he wrote that. As well, there's one well-known marketing authority, Adam Urbanski, and he says, the right word in the right place spells success. To thrive in this world, you simply must command a well-rounded vocabulary. Like it or not, the world responds to words. So for those who are listening in, you can see the importance of creating captivating content. It really is vital. And if I'm correct, everyone listening to this program today wants to help others. And I'm here because I want to assist you in making your business more successful. So how do you compel prospects to purchase? When you get an offer in the mail, what makes the difference between you throwing it in the trash or opening it? When you open a web page, what makes the difference between you reading it or clicking onto another site? There is a key to getting your content read. And the one thing that makes the difference between grabbing your prospect's attention so they read your content versus clicking onto a, another website, it's really whether or not your content speaks to your prospects, not at them. You see, you want content that grabs you, that makes you feel you're understood, that keeps you reading, or that gets you to click on that Buy Now button or pick up the phone and make up that call. So as they read your content, your ideal client should be thinking, that's me, or yes, yes, this person understands my dilemma. I need to call her or email her or purchase her program, product, or service. But the question is, how do you do that? Well, some people call this tapping into your prospect's pain, but I call it pushing their buttons. When you do that, when you tap into what's going on into their lives, connect with them, build rapport, you increase your KLT factor. And that's know, like, and trust. You see, people want to do business with those professionals that they know, like, and trust. Think about the people that you work most closely with. Most likely, they chose to work with you because they know, like, and trust you and vice versa. So when you demonstrate that you understand what your audience is struggling with, you'll find that your message jumps off the page, it touches their emotions, and it increases your response rate. So how do you captivate and convert your prospects into loyal raving fans, even if you have been struggling with how to put your ideas into words in the past? Well, you start with step number one in the five-step copywriting success formula for pushing your prospects' buttons. Step number one is determine the problem. What is the issue facing your target audience? Keep in mind that there are two powerful triggers tied closely together here, two triggers that grab your prospects' attention. Number one is curiosity. 
just like that cute little kitty trying to get that goldfish. And the number two trigger is touching on people's emotions. So the first step of determining the problem is where it's really important for you to touch on and awaken the emotions of your prospects. Awaken emotions that have to do with what they're dealing with daily. What's the biggest issue facing your prospects? What keeps them awake at night? Are they stressed out about past due bills? Are they frustrated with their jobs? Maybe they're frightened because they lost a job and they can't find a new one. Are they experiencing physical pain, such as chronic back pain or arthritis? Or maybe they're afraid of losing a loved one, either somebody who is sick and suffering, or perhaps their relationship is a tenuous one and it's on the rocks and they're contemplating separation or divorce. You can use these triggers in your headlines, bullet points, or in the names of your free reports, because doing so piques curiosity, awakens emotions, and creates loyal raving fans who keep coming back because they want your help. So what we talked about in today's webinar was step number one of the five-step copywriting success formula. Step number one is determine the problem. In the webinars that follow, we'll cover steps two through five. My name is Deborah Jason. I'm a speaker, author, trainer, direct response copywriter, and a coach. Marketing and writing with heart, not hype. I speak about the value of building relationships and the art of engaging as they apply to copywriting, marketing, and social media marketing. I invite you to get a copy of your free report, The Secret to Connecting and Engaging with Your Prospects. You'll find it on my website. It's at rightdirection.com. That's W-R-I-T-E, like writing with a pen, rightdirection.com. Please feel free to sign up for my newsletter, connect with me on LinkedIn, follow me on Facebook, Google Plus, or Twitter. And if I can help you in any way, please reach out and contact me. I'll help you head in the right direction. On behalf of the Schweike Media Weekly Expert Webinar Series, I thank you for taking time out of your day to join us for this session. And I'll look forward to seeing you again on another webinar in the near future. Have a heartwarming day, and here's to your sweet success. Now is the time to let your light shine. Thanks again.